Hello again, my fellow Jetty users. Welcome back to my workshop for another of Harry's little Jetty Clinic videos. And in this one, I'm going to deal with a request I've had for some help uh, for a chap who wants to program his Beach Stagger Wing, which is a uh, interesting biplane. And he has got two aileron servos on the top wing and two flaperon servos on the bottom wing. But when he switches it to the flaps down, he wants the flapper on servos to stop acting as aileron and just be the flaps. And he also mentioned he's using an assist receiver. And I thought, eh, there's a few little interesting twists here. It's a very straightforward thing. Mix aileron into the flaps and switch them off when the flaps are down. But the assist brings in some little options for you to think about as well. Uh, and... You don't necessarily have to switch the flaps off completely, uh, sorry, the ailerons off completely in flapper on when you're in, say, takeoff flap mode. So uh, we'll do a quick little run through of some of the options you've got, how to use them, uh, and a couple of the wrinkles in setting up the assist so that you actually get what you want and don't sort of sit there scratching your head wondering why things are or aren't working with your flapper ons and the um, assist gyro. So let's whiz through the model and take a look. I'm going to assume that the flaps have three positions, which is flaps up for normal flight, uh, partial flap for takeoff and full flap for landing on a three position switch. As always, I will program them using flight modes because I think it's by far the better way to do it, because it allows you to have separate elevator trim on the flight modes. And it's also much the easiest way to do it, because all of your flap setting up is done in one screen, no messing about with other screens to adjust little bits and pieces. So let's take a look. Let's go in right from scratch. Model, uh, new model. We'll call it Model C for the moment. There we go. None of that. Wing type. Now, just take out of your head for the moment the fact it's a biplane because it's exactly the same as a monoplane um, with two ailerons and on the outboards and two flaps or flaperons on the inboards. It's just you're separating them out between two wings instead of one wing. So we want the two flap, two aileron wing. On we go. Uh, functions assignment. Uh, we take out the control for the flaps because we're going to be doing it by flight mode. So we need the flap function there, because that will generate as well the servos when we get to the next screen. What else do we need? Well, we need to control the assist. So we can create, um, again, say OK to that, and the control, I'll make it the, the P8 knob. OK, I need, uh, what else do I need? I need the assist mode. Uh, and uh, you don't always need a mode switch. You can lock it permanently in mode one. But uh, I'm going to show you what we can do with the different modes as regards stabilizing the flapperons. OK, so mode. And it's going to be the same switch that I'm going to use for the, the flaps, which is this one here. So I'll move that. Yes, I know I've taken the control out for flaps, but when we get round to the flight modes, uh, which is different from the assist mode, I'll be using again that same switch to control the flight modes for the flaps. Let's move the camera along a little bit. There we go. Uh, and what else do I want? Oh, yes. Normally, I would also create a function with the control with my gyro on off switch here, but we don't need it for the, the purpose of this demonstration. OK, on we go. And it assigns the servos automatically. I'm only using a little uh, six assist um, which means it still picks up all 16 or 24 channels. Uh, this, in fact, it's got six on it. means it only has six servo sockets for the outputs. Uh, but that's fine because I only need to demonstrate up as far as aileron two. So aileron one, flap one, flap two, aileron two, up to channel five. That's fine. So the six will cope with this. And then I'm using channels above that for the gain and the mode. OK, on we go. Create and activate. Yes. Say OK to that. Pair the receivers now. Yes. I'll switch it on. Really use it. Yes. Off we go. Initialized. Armed. Thank you. Lovely. And here is 
our little simulated model. Now, uh, I say this is for a beach stagger wings, but it could be a monoplane where we've got left aileron and right aileron on the outers, flaps on the inners, or for this case of a, a biplane stagger wing, you know, these are going to be, say, the bottom wing, and these will be on the top wing. Doesn't matter. As far as the radio is concerned, it's all the same thing. Okay. Now we're back in here. What will we do? Well, uh, we want to mix the ailerons to the flaps. And let's go in here. Fine tuning. Free mixes. Add from aileron to flap. Advanced come down, I'll give it a master value of 100% to start with. And the switch will be uh, the, with the flaps in the up position. So I'll put it to the mid position. So I've got a bit of a jittery servo there. Come along here, move my switch up. There we are. So the mix will be on when the switch is in the flaps up position, but it will be off in any other position. There we go. So let's come and have a look at the servos. The flaps are in the up position. Everything works like that. I'll move the flap switch to the mid position. And now you don't get mixing to the flapper on. Full flap, no mixing. Yep. Notice nothing's happening with the flap servos themselves when I move the flaps because we haven't programmed those in yet. That's fine. That proves that point. Okay. Now, uh, you might think, well, well, you still want a bit of aileron on your flapperons at uh, takeoff position. After all, the aileron effectiveness is driven totally by the airspeed of the model, which is different to the elevator and the rudder. On a prop-driven model, the elevator and the rudder are sitting in the prop slipstream. And so their effectiveness is not directly linked to the airspeed of the, the aircraft because they're sitting in this massive prop wash. But the ailerons sitting outside the prop wash uh, can become very ineffective at low speed. Uh, and when will you be at low speed? Well, when you've got full flap on and you're coming in to land. Now, is that the time that you actually want to reduce the number of ailerons you've got by half? Possibly not. Um, but there we go. It, you set it up the way you want. So say OK to that. What we could do is add from ailerons to flaps. Come back in here. And this time we'll set a, a mixing value for takeoff. Uh, so it's not going to be as much. Let's say 70%. Come along here, put the uh, flap switch to flaps up or down, but not in the midpoint. Press that, move the switch to the midpoint, and there we are. So the mix will now be on at the mid switch, but off at full flap or flaps up. Say OK to that, OK to there. Now you can see we've got two different mixes. Let's add one more just in case you do want it. So add from ailerons to flaps master value we'll give it uh, 30% this time and with a switch at the mid position hit that, press it down and now this will be switched on only at full flap so this gives us the options of different flapper on travels at the different flap settings okay now remember, I haven't got the flaps working yet. I'm going to do that in a minute. So here's the flap switch in the up position. No flaps. You get full mixing. Go to take off flap. See how the flaps now move a bit less than they were. That's the two middle servos. And we'll go to full landing flap. And the flap servos move even less. But they're still doing a little bit of aileron for you. So you can choose just what you want. OK. <clears throat> All right, come back here. I'll say OK to that. And uh, what else do we want? Well, we need to set up the assist. And 
you have to think, do you want the flaperons to have uh, stabilization? Yes or no, because that is very important to what this, the position of the switches on the mix are when you set up the assist. Let's take a look. Model. Device Explorer. Configuration. Now I've already been through the Quick Wizard and such like. Here's your stabilization settings, your channel assignment. Um, so let's do the channel assignment. Um, assign the primary flight channels. I'll only bother with the ailerons at the moment because that's the only one we're dealing with here. So calibrate the ailerons. Oop, with help of a press next, I'll okay, fully to the right. Yep, there we go. Okay, what else will we need? I will need the mode switching. So assign the additional channels. Uh, flight mode switch. Cleared out to show you. Edit that. And now I'm going to move that switch that we will be using for the flaps. Now you'll notice that I haven't yet programmed the flaps. And that's very deliberate because what the assist is looking for is a channel that changes its value when I move the switch and it will pick the lowest numbered channel. Now, if it already set up the flaps, it doesn't matter whether you're using the flap flight modes or other direct control, whatever. The, the flaps are, if we remember rightly on this, channels three and four. So when we move the switch, if we'd already set up the flaps, the assist would have seen the lowest numbered channel that moved was channel three. So it would have picked channel three as the flight mode channel which is not necessarily what you want. As it happens, it would go the same way because we're using the same switch. But uh, do bear in mind that if you're using a different switch for your flight modes than the channel you're after, yeah, you can run into problems there. Okay. And I can come down to roll tuning uh, channel 8. It's already there. Done it. Okay. Now then, I'll pop back into here. Flight modes is what we're after. Okay, here's our three assist modes, not the transmitter flight modes, but the assist flight modes. Yes, I know it's confusing. So we'll try and talk about transmitter flight modes and assist modes. This is assist modes, mode one, two, and three. Um, and I've set all three of them to normal damping, because that's what we would normally use as the uh, stabilization mode and because we've now set this switch i'll just move the camera a little bit this switch which i will be using for flaps as the assist mode switch we can see the active mode is one if i move the switch active mode two which is that one active mode three it's that one okay if we come across here and move the assist we'll see that all servos are stabilized. If you never want the flaps to be stabilized, you can do what we've done and then follow what I'm about to do to switch them off in certain flight modes or uh, have the mixing switched off when you do the aileron stick calibration because then it won't see those channels move and it will never stabilize them. It simply won't give you the option. But with the mixing switched on and switched on at full rate, not the takeoff or landing rate, but switched on at full rate, it gives us full stabilization on all of them. If I'd had takeoff or landing uh, switched in the mix, then of course these flap servos were getting much reduced travels. And so the assist would have picked up on that and given them much reduced travels with the gain but because I had switched on at full, it's picked up full stabilization on all of them. Okay, that's great. <clears throat> We're puddling along in normal flight, but uh, we don't want the gyro trying to massively move the flapperons when we're in takeoff or landing flap. It's just in the same way 
that we reduced the mixer rate, uh, can we do anything about the gain in takeoff or landing mode in the assist? No. We can switch it off for the flapper on servos, but we can't give them a reduced gain. There is a roll gain, and that's it. Uh, we can change the roll gain, but it will apply to the ailerons as well as the flapper ons. So what we could do is say, right, mode one, switch up, normal fly around, everything damped nicely. Mode two, we'll leave the stabilization on for the flapper ons as well. But mode three, which is the switch all the way down, which for me is landing flap, it's this one here. I don't want the gyro trying to stabilize the flapper ons as well as the ailerons, only the ailerons. So we come across here to edit the mode and we scroll down past here, we get to this table and it tells you here what it's going to try and stabilize for each of the channels. So here we go. In this mode, you can see I've been playing with it already in a previous uh, test out. These are the settings inside the assist, not the transmitter. Uh, you can switch off the flap. Just come into it, press the button to toggle it on or off. Yeah, so we can see here we're in stabilization mode three. If I move to, which is full landing flap, if I move to stabilization mode two, I've still got them switched off. Ah, of course it's not switching. It's because we went into that menu mode three. We've switched them off. Okay. If uh, it annoys me that when you press escape, it jumps all the way out of the menu. Got to remember to press the back button. Okay. If we go to mode two, which was the switch in the middle, I edit that one. Come down here into the table we can leave them switched on for the roll. And of course, uh, ooh, remember to go to the back button. There we go. We will have stabilization for the flapper ons on in that mode as well. Okay, so what's the effect of that? Let's come across here. Okay, flaps are in the up position. So we've got the mixing at full rate and stabilization with the gyro working normally. I'll go to landing flap. Mixing is partial and stabilization is still there at full rate. I'll go to landing flap. Mixing is much smaller and the stabilization now is off altogether. Okay. Now that we've done all that, we can finally set up the flaps themselves. So we can come out of there and go to fine tuning, flight modes, add yes, add yes. Come up here, I'll say that this one is landing flap. I'll just call it LA for the moment, save time. Come across here, put my switch to the middle, switch down, okay. And come down to the next one. This will be takeoff. Move the switch to takeoff. Okay, that's my uh, flight mode set. I'm not going to bother with a, a slowing this time in the delay, but in, in normal circumstances I would. Digital trim, you would set your elevator to separate, or I do anyway, so that I now have separate trims for each flap mode. Sorts that out. And then we can come down to butterfly flaps. Set the control to log max. So go into logical switches and go down to the bottom, log max, there we go. Okay, log switch max is like just saying on. That's it. Okay, look. Then come across and change the mode to separate. If you change the mode to separate first and then go across and set it to control log max, it'll only do it in the mode that you're in at the time. So you'd have to go through all your modes independently setting log max. Otherwise, you'll, you'll find it's gone off in the other modes. So change to mode S. OK, and now we can come down to our flaps adjustments. Uh, default flight mode, no flaps. 
we'll go to takeoff flight mode. There we are. We'll give it some value of flap. Uh, takeoff mode, so we'll set some flap value. Let's say 30%. And then we'll go to landing. Landing mode. And we'll set it 100%. Okay, so now we have the final thing. Flaps are up. Everything's mixing at 100%. Stabilization active. Okay, flaps to take off. Mixing's still there for the flaperons, but it is reduced. Stabilization still active. Now we'll come to landing flap. No flaperon mix from the ailerons. Or sorry, there is. Yes, we left it at what? It was a low percent value. But if you don't put a mixer in there, then you won't get it at all, remember? Yep. And stabilization is active only on the ailerons, not on the flaps. And there you go.